For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to talk about using fancy LED to get really smooth hue gradients. So what is this all about? If you're used to working with things like NeoPixels or dot stars, you can feed them colors with a lot of different methods. You can feed RGB, you can feed hex values, you can uh, use color wheel from Rainbow IO. Fancy LED is a add-on library that mimics some of the functionality of fast LED from the Arduino world. And if you look here, all I have to do is import Fancy LED. I'm importing it as Fancy. Uh, then I'm setting up my NeoPixels as normal. So Fancy LED doesn't mean you set up your NeoPixels any differently. We're still driving them with the NeoPixel library. What is different is how I'm specifying colors. So here you can see I'm setting up a color and I'm using fancy.chsv, that's hue saturation value. Initially I'm setting the hue to zero, which is red on a color wheel that loops through all the colors. Uh, one is all the way back, the 360 degrees on the wheel. I have the saturation set at one and this essentially is the brightness. Uh, this is set at 0.1 to begin with. And then we're going to create a packed value that takes that set of integers and turns it into an RGB value that can be sent directly to the NeoPixels. And then I'm filling them with that value. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. So let's rerun that. Uh, so now you can see what I'm doing is I'm setting up a number of steps. In this case, I want to smoothly run through this color wheel of hues. So I'm setting up 180 steps and I'm telling it to run for three seconds. So let's play around with this a little bit and then we'll look at how it works. So I'm going to make this really obvious. I'm going to drop down to just three steps and again, it's going to take three seconds. So you should see it just pop from red to green to blue to red to green to blue. Uh, I'm pausing between them there, so you'll see it doesn't, it kind of hitches when it gets back to that color. Uh, so that's three steps. That means it's running through the full color wheel with only uh, three steps that it's stopping in. Let's double that. Let's do six steps. So now you can see we're getting some of those intermediate colors between red, green, and blue. So we're getting a yellow, we're getting a magenta, we're getting a cyan. Uh, and now we can start to increase this. Let's say we'll do 18 steps here. So now you'll see it kind of ticking through, um, but what we can do now is bump this way up. So here's 180 steps in three seconds, and you can see it's very, very smooth. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase the time it takes to run through the color wheel to 10 seconds, and we'll set this to basically a degree per step. Uh, so this is perfect for things like very slow fading color changes like you see on art installations and uh, in in-house lighting. Uh, so the way this works is in my main loop, all I'm doing is saying while the hue is less than one, and we're just going from zero to one with a, with a float, the color is equal to fancy CHSV, my hue, my saturation, my value, which I've set up here. Uh, then I am packing that with the color.pack, which turns it into a value we can send directly to the NeoPixel. So pixels.fill and then that packed value. And then I'm just increasing the value of my hue by the step. And that step is going to be the 360 divided by uh, the cycle time. So those are, those are how many little individual increments we're going in. Uh, then I'm going to sleep for that rate amount and I'm also printing it out down at the bottom. So you can see it here just very slowly moving up from zero to one, and that's when it's gonna to return to red. So right here, the value is at, uh, hits one, we're at red, and then it's gonna actually go backwards. I'm cycling it down with this second set right here. And so this is how you can use fancy LED to create really nice color gradients in your hue inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.